Hi, thanks so much for buying my cutting files. This little video should help you if you don't understand how to move certain pieces and only cut um, selected parts of a design. Most of my files will come like this, either on 12 by 12 paper as shown here, or it might be on A4 paper. Um, I have some instructions at the top of each one of my files, and they show you how to change the page settings. So if you're going to cut this design from all of one color on a 12 by 12, it's fine as it is. But let's say you have a piece of 8.5 by 11 paper that you want to cut the card and the little butterfly topper from. You would go over here to where this little red box is. Click on it once, you get this. Click on it twice, it goes back and forth. So when you get this screen, you can change to letter size, and you can change it from portrait, which it is now, to landscape, or you can change it to A4, which is a little bit bigger. So whatever size paper you have and whether you want it to go in landscape or portrait, you can. And if you have little parts that you want to lay a little piece of paper on the mat and you want to know exactly where it's going to be, you can use this to reveal the mat and now you know exactly where that's going to cut. So let's change this back to portrait because this is a long card move all the other pieces off except the ones that you want to cut from this color and just stack them up over to the side now you're ready to do to go ahead and do the, the cut and all it will cut are the ones that are on whoops I forgot to move that one the ones that are on the mat Make sure your settings match your paper and then hit the cut and it would be done. Okay, we'll go back to this. And I know I have been known to once in a while forget to set the cut lines and someone will call me and, or email me and say, oh, I cut this part and this part didn't cut. So if you don't know how to check what lines are going to cut, I'm going to show you. You go up here to the little scissors thing and when you click on that, everything that shows up bright red is going to cut. Let me show you what it will look like if you don't cut it. Here's here, And this is what you use to set what kind of line you're going to have, whether it's dashed or straight. And then when you go to cut, you can tell it to no cut and see how it went dim. So say you got this design and you went to this Thing and you saw all these but this one was dim then you would change it down here to cut and then you're done and you go back and cut your files I hope this helped a little thanks again and happy cutting